What's going on guys? North and we're back with another video. And today we're on Crystal Defco and I'm going to show you guys some things to do with in my last video I did my breadcrumbs on the Crystal mod. But recently Crystal Client has or Crystal themselves have released a client version of the thing. And it's completely updated, everything you need to know. And there's actually some really cool features on this client, so I'm going to be leaving a link to Crystal's Discord in the video. That way you guys can come get one of these clients because I played on Falcon primarily for everything and I'm about to swap over to this because I think it's a genuinely better client and has better options. There's a lot of stuff I haven't really messed with yet but I'm you know I'm gonna figure out eventually so uh, today I'm gonna show you guys about how to adjust cannons and counter cannoning for factions you know this is a big thing with factions mainly because people you gotta have a, a fast side counter you gotta be able to good good a buffer counter and that's really all there is to it. You gotta know how to do it. You gotta know how to set the cannon up. You gotta know how to spam adjust, things like that, adjust, all sorts of stuff. And I would be using some things in Crystal Client, such as uh, Adjust Helper, or I think there's something else in here. Uh, I don't know which one it is. Something on like Float Finder, but those things are not allowed on the Archon. Uh, I believe we have something that blocks them, so yeah. And well, let's get into it. So using this can for an instance, this is a this is a pretty old quick print, but this is typically what you would use for a side counter, something like this, a one water bucket that's fast and easy to print in. This is pretty old, so I wouldn't recommend using this now, but something like this is typically what you're trying to find after. A small cannon that's compact and can be used to quick print. You know, preferably something that's easy to water, that way you can fast water it. So this is a one water bucket, so all it requires is one bucket. So normally something like this is what you want to find. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this can for it. So, yeah, it's like going through this, uh, like this is Plibs Quick Print Adjust. So this is a one stacker quick print, something like that. It's kind of odd, not gonna lie. So something like this isn't what you would want for quick print. Now, this is a full buffer counter, so you don't want to do this. It's just like doing something like this is taking like, way too much time and take too much TNT to use for a quick print. You know, it's uh, it's massive. Typically, this is what you use for a buffer counter. So this would be a good solid buffer counter, but I wouldn't I wouldn't use it for a quick print because you know, like I said, it takes too long to quick print, and it's not neat. Let me see if I have anything else about David or rewind it in here. This is another example of something you wouldn't want to be as your quick print. Um, especially this is like a really bad quick print option. This is a cool that's a one water bucket and it's easy to water. But this is definitely not what you want for a quick print. This is way too large. This would be a perfect style rating cannon. And I'll probably link this cannon in the description for you guys. This is Rewinded cannon. I'm not sure if this still works on a lot of servers. He hasn't made any cannons necessarily recently. But this is definitely something you would want as a quick print. Alright, so next is explaining barrels. So, right here, this is a 360 cannon. So, it's a 360, stair para, fence gates probably have more exposure, something like that. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but depending on, like, I know for a fact, depending on what way you want to shoot. So, right now, this cannon is set up to go straight up and float to the left. So, depending on what way you want it to float, you would adjust this stair and this trap door. So, I think if you flip this up like this, it's going to come up and it's going to float all the way to the right over here. And if you wanted to shoot backwards, I believe you would have to break this stair and place it like somewhere else, like maybe right here, and flip the trap door down or stuff like that. But this is a 360 barrel, so it really can shoot any direction you want, and that's really what you want for uh, a buffer counter. That way, a buffer counter, not a side counter. You want it to just be inside the walls, protect your base. As you can see, fire. I'm um, also about to show you guys is. Uh, Crystal's new patch crumbs with this, show you guys how that works. This shows exactly where a shot's coming in at. Um, you can change these up and add like different things to it. So you can add trace the TNT tracers, you can have it set where automatically sends the coordinates of the shot to your faction chat, things like that. I don't have that set up right now, so I don't really play factions anymore, like I said in my last video. So you can change different things, change your line width to be as thick as possible. Or thin as possible, 
I like five probably solid. You want your timeout to be however fast the map's canning speed is, you know? Because it, it's set by 10 by default. And if you get it 10, then it's going to stay at 10 for those shots, you know? It's not, you want it three seconds because every three seconds the shot's going to be coming in. That way it'll, lo it'll update and show the location of new shots. So, slash fire, slash fire, slash fire. Fire four shots. You can see it coming in, comes in, boom, boom. And it alternates that back and forth. So, this is also that cannon I showed you right there. The This is a 12 wide rating cannon that Bill Y rewinded. So, yeah, that's all there is to it. Another thing, if you guys want me to do cannon releases, if you guys message me on Discord, North hashtag 2003, uh, send me a cannon info on it, and I will do a cannon release on it as long as it works, you know? Like, I don't really care. I'll give you credit for it. Send me your YouTube link or anything like that, and I'll do it, or I'll do it with you if you want. It doesn't matter to me. Um, so, yeah, I don't can anymore. I don't do anything like that, so. Uh, there's, I don't really do, I don't really have anything to release. So, if you guys wanted to send me something to release and review, then I'm all for it. I'll do it. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Just showing you guys that and Crystal Client. You know, like I said, there's several different things you can do on here, and it's honestly probably the best factions client out at the time right now, and I really enjoy it. So yeah, if you guys want it, then I'm gonna leave a link to Crystal in the Discord in the description, and you guys can use it. And if you guys want a more in-depth video reviewing Crystal Client and everything that it has in it, make sure to let me know, and I'll do that too. And as always, guys, see you later.